everyone welcome Mari Dominguez here and if you're new to my channel you're watching a little bit of everything where I share with you easy budget friendly DIYs decor ideas and just a little bit more so if you like what you see I hope you become part of my little DIY family by clicking on that subscribe button and hitting the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video so I have a little guest here today, Blue. Blue wants to make an appearance. She's kind of shy though. Um, so what do I have for you today? Well, I have another fall DIY. So if you like fall DIYs like I do, then let's get on with this video. So for this project, I'm gonna be using the following items. I have here this cute fizzable wood wall art that I purchased from Target. It was clearance last year. I haven't been there this year, so I don't know what they have now. Then I have from the Dollar Tree these burlap leaves and these assorted paints from Walmart. Alrighty everyone, so now that I've opened up our little sign, the good thing about it is that it has two ends for whichever way you want to place your little sign. Um, I don't know, I'm thinking I'm liking it standing up, but at the same time, I like it long ways. So decisions, decisions. But in the meantime, I want to paint this inner part with the antique parchment that I have here from Apple Barrel. Okay, so not too much, just like a nice little coating here. I like this color because it's a nice creamy beigey color without being too dull because it has like a little hint of tone in there. Pretty guys, look how nice and pretty that looks. Now while this dries, I want to paint the little pumpkins and the little Hello Fall sign. Now the Hello Fall sign, I want to paint with this uh, chalk paint, this Waverly chalk paint. This is the color Agave. I just really love this color. It's a nice turquoise. And you'll see in a minute. It's a nice turquoise, aqua, blue type of color. Um, and pretty much it's the color, almost the color of my living room, guys. I kid you not. <laughs> and as you can see, I'm only painting the front. I'm not doing neither the sides nor the back. What I do love about chalk paint, it dries pretty quickly, guys. And you can see where you need to do any touch me up and look how pretty that looks so now we set this aside to dry and now we're gonna go with our little gourds now look how cute they are they have three different kinds of gourds and we're gonna paint them in a couple of different colors so first up we have this pretty peach color and this is from Apple Barrel as well. We're just gonna lightly paint one of the little boards. Hopefully, the little lines will still show through. We're just kind of like, like a whitewash type of technique, not too much. Just to give it a little color. Now I did mention that I purchased this last year on clearance um, at Target and I haven't been there this year to see what they have for their fall season this year but I'm sure that they have as per usual some pretty awesome stuff. 
Now I did see that um, Dollar Tree was carrying also some type of uh, cutouts as well. So you can definitely check your local Dollar Tree for something similar. Or any, any craft store. Alrighty guys, so I didn't want to paint like the lines. I wanted to leave it with that little a little line showing like it is a board so let's lay this on the side now to dry and go on to the next one next up we have this pretty tangerine cream color also from apple barrel i did mention that i purchased these at walmart what i like about them is that you can get them for her less than a dollar guys yes so we're taking our longer board here and we're going to do the same thing we did with our other one. Just lightly paint it. Careful with the lines so that we have that nice little texture there, so to speak, of the board. Trying to be as on camera as possible, guys. I'm sorry. Now it is kind of like a wood burnout in there, so regardless, it'll still have the little texture. But I just don't want to cover the line completely. And here is our board number two. And for our last little pumpkin, we are going to be using this apple barrel paint in the spring green color. I love this little, this color. I don't know if the camera is doing it justice, but it's just a nice light green color. I love it so much. And same thing we've done with our other little pumpkins. And here it is, everyone. Look how nice and pretty that one looks. While everything continues to dry, we're just going to take our little leaf here and I'm just going to remove this little metal stem. I decided to do my sign long ways, guys, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're just going to hot glue our little leaf here just going around to the edges of our leaf. Placing the hot glue, and then we're just going to put it here, right in the center of our little wooden leaf. Well, almost to the center. I want to like. so far what I want to do now is I want to take our little hello fall and I'm just going to hot glue it on top of our leaf but guys me being extra I found my we really wax paint it's this is an antique wax and I want to take the little stems of the pumpkins and the outer portion here of our little sign and just give it a little a little wash wash there, you know, a little, a little antique, so to speak. So, just taking a little dab here, and just, you see, just a little stem, just want to, wonder if I got, yeah, there it is. Just a little stem, like so. Now it'll match even the outer corners of the little board. Just to give it that little extra.
And I will do the outer part of our frame here of our um, little wooden inside. But after I've glued everything down, because I don't want to mess it up by touching it. By touching it. Wax can be a little messy, guys. Alrighty, so let's go and glue our sign. How pretty it's looking so far. Lovely guy, what do you think? Now I'm gonna place our pumpkins here in the center. You can embellish this a little bit more, like how we say, guys. You do you. I just love that there's so many different things you can do for fall. As I mentioned before, it is my favorite season. And yeah, I'm loving it. I just love fall. So now we're just going to proceed to give our little frame here a little light brushing. I do say light. Just to pull out those little lines and textures from the frame. Now we're just going to wipe a little off like so. You see how pretty that looks? I am using a regular kitchen wipe but you can use a baby wipe as well or just a nice moist rag. This is just making all of the colors come together. And here it is. Look how pretty that looks. I'm just loving all these colors here. At the last minute, I did decide to add in a little ribbon just to give it a little something extra up on the top corner here and I'm going to have to one of those little Dollar Tree floors there in the center <laughs> like I told y'all before I will never bore you with my non-existing bow making skills so there you have it guys here is this little project what do you think ready everyone so for this project we're gonna be using the following items I have here from the Dollar Tree these oak leaves. I have this little bit left over from a previous project and I have these two cute cream colored farmhouse style ribbons and this adorable little pumpkin that I got last year on clearance from Big Lots. What are we doing? We're just giving it a little makeover is all. So as I mentioned guys, we're just gonna give our pumpkin a makeover because I pretty much love it just the way it is. And like I said, I got it last year on clearance at Big Lots. That's my way to shop, guys. I really do love buying everything on clearance because, you know, you save a lot of money. So, we're just going to remove this part here. Probably on there harder than I expected. Definitely harder than I expected. Well, guys, definitely harder than expected because everything was stapled down. And it has these industrial type of staples, but I was able to get most of it off. And now, if you have a project that has something similar, just fold them over so you don't cut yourself, okay? That's what we gotta do, just fold them over. If you can't take them completely off. And that way. 
take care of our little fingers, guys. What I want to do is I want to make some bows. And guys, y'all already know, I've mentioned it before, I really have no bow making skills. So I apologize in advance. I really do. I really, really do. And I want to use both, both ribbons. This little farmhouse ribbon that Dollar Tree is carrying. I've done so many projects with this one, especially. I love it so much. So now that I have both my ribbons, I'm just going to take a piece of twine and make a knot in the center. Center. Excuse me, guys. Tongue tied today, I don't know why. Just making a little knot in the center. As tightly as possible. Now, this, this ribbon does not have wire. So when you fluff it out, basically it's really not going to go anywhere, it's just pretty much stay as is, but you can just like, you know, pull them out. Then I have a little piece of the farmhouse ribbon, I'm just going to put it in the center to cover up the twine. Just a little fluffy, not too much, just to give it a little cutesy look, as you can see. Simple. Simple. So, in this little spot right here in the center where I have the twine, we're going to put a little dab of hot glue. And then we're just going to take our little piece of ribbon and cover the twine. And then just fold it over to the back, place some more hot glue, and as I always say, be careful because hot glue is very hot, and you just made yourself a cute little ribbon. Well, I want to say it's cute anyway, right guys? And then you just put that end piece off. stays in place by just putting a little bit more hot glue. Right, guys. So, we'll continue to fluff this out in a second, but now on to the next part. So what we're doing is we took another piece of twine and we're just going to Place it here onto our little tag, but I want to add something extra to the tag, guys. So, I have this cute little bead from the Dollar Tree. This was from their summer items, I believe. Just put it there, and then we're just going to make a knot so that it doesn't go anywhere. going to add we're going to hot glue shall I say our tag let's make another knot up at the top so it doesn't go anywhere right guys Mm -hmm. 
laid down our little tag there. I'm going to do it a little bit longer than it originally came with. So. I want to take Just lay them up on top. Looking so far so cute, right guys? I don't even really see it. I'm sorry. And then there we're going to have glue our little ribbon. Well, our bow, our ribbons. So there's my little makeover. My little pumpkin makeover from Big Lots. What do you think? Happy fall, y'all. What do you think? So there you have it, everyone. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of this video. Also, please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, you know, hit the like button. That way it lets me know and it lets YouTube know that you like my content. Also, even if it's just with a little emoji or something, leave me a comment, guys. I do read your comments and I try to respond accordingly. So, with that being said, I thank you for watching. I thank you for tuning in and blessings to you all.